Hi friends! Today we will learn about the punctuation symbols M dash, M dash. There are three types of dashes that have varying lengths. The first one, which is the smallest one, is called hyphen. And we have learned a lot about hyphen in the last section. In this section, we learn about other two dashes, M dash and M dash. Hyphen is the smallest one. An easy way to remember the difference between these two dashes, M dash and M dash, is to visualize the M dash as a length of the letter N and the M dash as a length of the letter M. We have already learned a lot about hyphen in our last section. Today we will learn about other two dashes, M dash and M dash. Hyphen. We learned that hyphen glues two or more words that are supposed to be read together and function together as a single adjective or any type of modifier. One third. Single sided, double face, two seater, three year old. These words are glued to each other with the help of hyphen and act as a single word, single adjective, or single modifier. Now let's learn about n dash. n dash has length more than hyphen and less than m dash. N dash specifies any kind of range. Let's have examples. I am super busy March to July. Here we have used N dash to specify your range. Here, March N dash July means March, April, May, June, and July. And not just March and July. So, N dash is used for showing a range. N dash is mostly used in all types of indexes for giving a range. Let's see more examples where we use the N dash. I have read through pages 7 to 78. He exercises 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Its price is in the range of $10 to $20. My matches will be held from October 6th to 10th. So you can see we have used N dash to specify a range. Now let's see another use of N dash. N dash is also used to join open compound words or hyphenated words. Pro-democracy, pro-suffrage activists succeed in the end. Here, pro-suffrage and pre-democracy, they are glued together with the help of hyphen, and these two hyphenated words are glued together with the help of N dash. The Nobel Prize winning authors will be honored. Here we have joined a compound word, Nobel Prize, and the word winning with the help of M dash. The post World War two years. Here again we have joined a word post with a compound word war with the help of M dash. Folk music influenced lyrics. Here again we have joined two compound words with the help of N dash. North Korea, South Korea border. Here again, we have joined two compound words, North Korea and South Korea, with the help of N dash. So we learned the hyphen glue two or more words that's supposed to be together and function together as a single adjective or any modifier. And it is smallest in size. And second one is the N dash that is used to specify the range. 
and it is also used to join two hyphenated words or a word with the hyphenated word or a word with the compound word or two compound words together using n dash. Now let's learn what is m dash. m dash is length of letter m. It has many uses in English language punctuation. Let's try to learn them all. m dash is used to show change in the tonality of the speaker. No spaces are left between the dash and letters on either side of dash. Now let's have a look on examples. You may think she is trustworthy. She isn't. Here, you can see M dash specify beginning of the part of the sentence that has different mood from the rest of the sentence. There may be a landslide. You never know. Here again, M dash shows beginning of the word or phrase or clause that has a different mood or tone from the rest of the sentence. We do all the work. They have all the fun. Here again, M dash is used to start the phrase or clause that has different mood or different tone from the rest of the sentence. I wish I could make it. Oh, never mind. We have used M dash to mark the beginning of the phrase or clause that has a different mood from the rest of the sentence. So, you can also notice that M dash is also used as a semicolon to give a bigger pause than comma. M dash can also be used in place of colon. We learned that we use colon to give reason, explanation, or conclusion. For example, Sam wanted to know why I didn't attend the meeting. I hadn't got the invitation on time. Here, colon is used to give reason for the previous clause. I need not go to the doctor now. I am feeling much better. Here, colon is used to give reason for the previous clause. You can replace this colon with an M dash. But remember, M dash is less formal than the colon. Now let's learn another rule of M dash. M dash is also work same as parenthesis by closing the extra information in the sentence whose removal doesn't change the meaning of the sentence. When used in place of parenthesis in the end of a sentence, only a single M dash is used. Now let's have examples. He is the gem, the most precious gem of our team. You can see we have enclosed an extra piece of information, the most precious gem, using 2M dash. And its removal will not change the meaning of the sentence. He is the gem of our team. So, we have enclosed the extra piece of information within 2M dashes. And the same thing can also be done by using parenthesis. All three of them, Jim, Bell, and Sam, are excellent players. Here, we have used M dashes to enclose extra information. Without it, meaning of the sentence won't change. All three of them are excellent players. The same thing could have been done by the parenthesis also. Here we have next example. Ronald came to the ground. He was a coach to instruct the players. Here again, we have used M dashes to enclose extra information, which can be removed from the sentence without bringing any change in the meaning of the sentence. Ronald came to the ground to instruct the players. So, there is no change in the meaning of the sentence if we remove this information. After discovering fault in the breaks, all 50 of them, 
the company immediately recalled the cars. Here again, we have given extra piece of information, which can be removed from the sentence without bringing any change in the meaning of the sentence. That is, all 50 of them is enclosed with two M dashes, and the same thing could have been done using parenthesis also. Now let's learn another usage of M dash. M dashes are also used to show that something is missing. Some unknown or unintentionally omitted alphabet can be replaced with M dashes. And in these cases, M dashes appear in pair on three sub, where it is known as three M dash. Let's have a look at examples. Mr. R, you have made my life a hell. Here, M dash is used to hide the name of the person intentionally. As the name is not R, but is written R with three M dash to omit the name intentionally. Here we have another example. UP. Now leave me alone. Were his last words. Here again, 3M dash is being used to hide the abusive language that is used. Here we have another example. The dreaded terrorist was executed yesterday. Here again, 3M dash is used to hide the name of the terrorist intentionally. Here we have another example. A former diplomat of the country gave a statement off the record. Here again, 3M dash is used to hide the name of the politician, diplomat, or any person intentionally. P. Everywhere are all the same. They make tall claims. Here again, in this sentence, 3M dash is used after the letter P to omit some letters. So we use 3M dash to intentionally omit certain names or certain words. Now let's learn last usage of M dash. It can be used as a sort of bullet point. Here we have examples. My wish list, a beautiful dress, matching sandals, matching earrings, matching purse. So we have used M dash in the place of bullet. Here we have another example. Must haves for a successful party. Presence of near and dear ones. Good music. Good place. Good ambience. So we have used M dash as a bullet point. So friends, today we learned about all three types of dashes. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.